everybody. Um, got my daughter Elsa here to help me out through this video. Uh, she's not been in too many videos. She's three years old. And she loves Pokemon cards. She's been stealing Olivia's Pokemon cards. Um, but the reason of this video, um, it's not a very fun video to make. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the good news first. Um, I go to lots of different places and I won the door prize at the Hancock Antique Mall. They sent me this gift, gift certificate. So I'll be able to go back there and um, buy some more baseball cards for free with that. That's good news, right? The bad news is that today I found out that I have cancer. Um, it's cancer of the thyroid. If you look at my neck, you can probably see there's a large lump right here. You can see, especially when I swallow. Um, I've been dealing with this since October 6th, so about 40 days. Uh, I'll just tell you the, the story of how it came to be and everything. Um, October 6th, I was at work, just finished eating lunch, and I looked up in the mirror and uh, I noticed a lump in my neck. So uh, I obviously knew that wasn't supposed to be there. So I went to the doctor uh, right after work and had some x-rays done, blood work taken and everything. Um, and they ruled out an infection and that started a whole, um, slew of appointments and, um, follow-ups with different specialists. I had an ultrasound done, um, on it. I went to an ear, nose, and throat doctor who told me it was a 98% chance that it was just benign and this, he sees this stuff all the time and sometimes it's like dried blood, um, from the cough that I've been having because I've been kind of battling some bronchitis also. And uh, so I really didn't think anything of it. I didn't want to really worry anybody. Um, so really, I, nobody really knew about it except for uh, my Patreon patrons. I let them know. And of course, my family. Um, um, uh, November 2nd, I had a biopsy where um, they take tissue out of your neck and they had me lay back and they took a fine needle and, and took four samples of tissue out of my neck. And I've been waiting for those results for it seemed just like the longest time. Um, they said seven to ten days and the, the call finally came today. Um, it came while I was teaching actually and I'd been waiting so long for it that I, I stopped my class and went out in the hallway and took the phone call. And um, the guy just said uh, that the uh, the samples show cancer and that I have to have my thyroid removed. So that's the bad news. Um, the hardest part so far has been telling my family um, just seeing the disappointment in their faces and the sadness in their faces. Luckily, this little girl here doesn't really understand. It's just, she's still happy, right? You happy? She's happy. So the next step is going to be surgery to have my thyroid removed. Basically, they're going to cut right here and take this gland out. If you don't know what the thyroid is, um, it's a vital gland that controls everything from your body temperature to your heart rate, um, to your metabolism, and you can't live without it. Um, I mean, you can live without it with medication, so I'm gonna have to take um, pills for the rest of my life, which really sucks. I also have a nice scar across right here from it, so, um, I don't know, maybe I could make something good out of it and put like little seams in there and make it look like a baseball stitching. That would be kind of cool, huh? By the way, everybody says that out of my four kids, she looks the most like me. Right, Elsa? You look like Daddy. Daddy. Say hi. Say hi. 
die. Uh, like my wife says that we could do one of those face swaps that people do and we would look exactly the same like you wouldn't even be able to tell. So I just wanted to let everyone know that that is what is going on. So if I don't seem real enthusiastic or pumped up in my videos, that's just, it's going to be in the back of my mind and it's weighing me down a little bit. But I'm looking forward to beating this and getting this put behind me. Uh, if you have had any similar experiences, um, I would love to pick your brain about what's in store ahead for me. We were supposed to do a live stream tonight, um, breaking boxes of triple threads and also um, Tops Archives, but I'm going to put that off until this weekend. Um, because I'm, he has cancer. I keep that. I, I told him that already. So, um, I don't know what else to say. Do you have anything else to say? No, I don't. Um, she's wearing her Eric Thames shirt from our trip to Milwaukee. Yeah. Fear the beard. All right, well, I do have three more videos that are already done. I'll probably put up the Hagerstown video tonight, the last Hagerstown video that we filmed. And also I have one from Beaver Falls, an antique store that's going out of business. Our last day is November 17th. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Cancer sucks. Um, now that I'm over the initial shock of it, it's time to fight.